Sangue là, non? Asilo lo santo, comando.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, friends and family. I would like to welcome you to this special evening of tribute for our dear sister and friend and daughter, Daniela Adebukola Jayola. Before we move on with the program of today, I'd like us to give honor to whom honor is due. Shall we please rise in our feet? as we say words of prayers and to lead us i'd like to invite a friend of the family the person of taiwan to lead us in open prayer let us bow our heads for prayers heavenly father we thank you for today thank you for granting us the grace to be alive thank you for granting us the grace to celebrate another life i tell our thanks and praise in jesus name we pray that as we've gathered in here Whatever testimony will be taken, we pray that it gives up gives us a wake up call to live a fulfilled life for you, whether long or short, in Jesus' name. I will pray that everything will be according to your desire in our lives for the rest of the year. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. While we remain standing, we would like to sing the hymn Amazing Grace. If you could please try to Google for the lyrics as we sing together.
and peace. The last is that it. When we been dead ten thousand years, right shine in the the sun. We know last days to sing. to remain standing, I would love to invite David to lead us in worship for 10 minutes. Good evening, everyone. Let's just worship the name of the Lord just a little bit. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh God. You Can search 
throughout eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. Jesus, you love us too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh, excess love, oh, oh, Lord, Jesus, you love us too much, oh. Lift 
your name. We lift your name. We lift your name. We lift your name. We lift your name. I never see any God like you. I never see any king like you. I never see any father like you. I never see any God like you. We never see any God like you. We never see any savior like you. We never see any king like you. We never see any God like you. We never, we never see any God like you. We never see it. We never see it. Oh, we never see it. We never see it. Oh, we never see it. Oh, when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we will sing and shout the victory. Thank you very much. We are praises. We are accepted by the Almighty God in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we please sit? May I call on our Sunday Akinwale to give us the Bible reading for today's The Bible is taken from Psalm 18, verses 1 to 10. Psalm 18, verses 1 to 10. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust my buckler and in the horn of my salvation and my eye tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me and the flood of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress, I will call upon the Lord and cry unto my God. He heard my voice out of my temple, out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken, because it was worse. There, there went up a smoke out of his nostrils, and fire out of his mouth devoured. Clouds were kindled by it. Devoured the heavens also, and came down, and darkness was under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub, and did fly. Yeah, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you very much. While we'll be listening to music from the music band for the next 10 minutes, I would love to take list of those who want to reflect on the times and life of any other. They would love to give a speech, they would love to render a song, anything you want to do. But please note that everyone is afforded two minutes each to do this. And for those who are streaming, watching us via Zoom, if you'd also like to participate, please try to comment. I'm very sure uh, team here would be able to notify us and allow you to do what you have to do. But please take note, it's two minutes. So over to you, Sars, for the next 10 minutes while 
who get the list of those who want to reflect on the life and time of Thank you very much. Thank you very much. First on our list to give a rendition in blessed memory of Eniola Jayola is Taiwo Adeoni. I believe we should be getting this very soon in Christ alone. We could try to sing along while they plays the guitar.
till he returns all calls me home you're in the power of Christ I'll stand thank you very much Saibu. next on my list is Shola Shola Akiwali Yes. All right. Good evening, everyone. Even this song I'm about to sing is a song we've been a lot of before. She left this earth. So I'll be playing the piano and singing at the same time. I'm to play the piano. Okay. And I'm glad she loved this song. You know. So I'll be singing in another room.
to me in your lap. We have one person who is trying to firm. You can firm me would come up after being Bo Johnson, who is representing the set of year 2008 of Babington Macaulay Junior Seminary, BMJS. Good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Bo Johnson, and um, on behalf of SET 2008 of Barrington um, Macaulay Junior Seminary, well, this is uh, this is quite a hard one, but we um, we send our hearts and our thoughts to the family, and we pray even for Shubomi and the entire family that the Lord God will uphold you, and then um, He would comfort you in the way that you need. Um, there's no amount of words that we can say, but we pray that the Lord God will comfort and will uphold you. And um, as a charge to every one of us is that um, we should just be extra deliberate with everything that we do here on earth um, before the thief of always steals tomorrow from our grasp. Once again, on behalf of SET 2008, please accept our deepest condolences. And um, Emila will be sorely missed. Um, she was a blessing to everyone. Um, I don't think anyone has anything negative to say about her. And that for me is the kind of legacy that we ought, ought to live um, regardless of the time that we spend here on earth. Um, with a lot of pleasure and comfort you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Fermi, on behalf of said 2000. Uh, Bimbo, on behalf of said 2008 BMJS. Now we would be listening to Fermi. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, um, we'd like to offer condolences to my family. Nyela was actually a very great person. She was really great in a sense. She was a very calm person. She was a very gentle person. She was a very, very approachable person. She's the kind of person she's way older than I am. I am um, a bit of trouble, so um, I'm always happy to be in a company. I'm always running at that. And I'll marry you one day. And she always puts me home. She was really a great person. She can put you and this is the was um we don't do with family for me and tell you that for me and everyone of them records were for the family a picture can never hide it. Thank you very much, Fermi, 
who is speaking on behalf of the youth from Bola Memorial Anglican Church, the Alcorn Fellowship. I'd love to call on praise to give his tribute. I want to believe praise is a colleague of Eniola Jayola. Praise, please, step forward. Good evening. I didn't expect this to be this painful thing today. Because last she was always checking up on me through my girlfriend, like Mary Gas to Prince, Mary Gas to Prince. And really a wake up call for me as a person because whenever your heart goes out to someone whenever you think about that person reach out to that person because tomorrow is not for anyone I had the intention we we're going to have an anger this month but it came as a shock to me when she told me when I was called for my girlfriend as the spirit I have <laughs> the things I heard about her was she was so humble. She was always happy. All the pictures I'm seeing on her timeline, this brought smile on her face. Despite her health condition, she was, you won't even know. We are so resting perfect. Thank you very much, Grace. Though it is hard to bear, it is hard to believe, but it has become a reality and we have to deal with it. May God give us the grace, the power, the strength to carry on, even without our dear princess, Daniela. I would love to call her to be top pair. Yes to also give okay a tribute good evening everyone um, i'm in last cousin and um, it's really sad that i have to do this today and be giving a tribute of the uh, for your that when we should be celebrating her um in a lot was an amazing person i can't believe i was thinking about her in, in the past um and an amazing girl very humble, very innocent, very pure. She had a nice word to say to everyone. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen Elena being uh, upset before. I remember when Elena was growing up, she couldn't pronounce her name very well, so we would call her like, la, la, la. And that was the name I called her to, you know, to her demise. She would always say, I, I talk about, I'm not a big girl, don't call me la, la, la. I said, that's the only name I can call you, like, that's because to me, uh, you always be my baby. Um, Though she's no longer here with us, our memories will continue to linger on. Um, we love her very much and God loves her the most. She will like I told you, you're not alone. Um, and your life is your sister. I'm also your sister. Um, don't look at the age difference or don't look at the, whatever you say to your life, you need to say to me, you can say to me. And I, I, the same goes for your other cousins home and abroad. And we all love you and we can we pray that God will continue to abide with you and your mom and everyone that you last left there and we love her so much thank you thank you very much ma'am before i call on your last brother to give the closing tributes and remark i'd also love to say a little bit of what i know about Eniola. If there's anything I can say about Eniola, she's the epitome of humility. I've never seen anyone so humble. Even when you scream at her and yell at her, she doesn't flinch, she doesn't 
she doesn't even think of revenge. She would come back. Even when she's not wrong, she would come back to say she's sorry. The morning she died, I was in her room and in my usual manner I would always go to our room in the morning and you know if I wake before her, I'll go to our room in the morning try to tease her if she wakes before me she would come into the room and pull my legs and say, lazy boy, wake up. And I had an interview that morning. I walked into her room and I realized she didn't move. But I thought she was, she was still sleeping. So I went into her bathroom. I did what I had to do. And I left. Only for me to get back and never see her again. But I know she's resting in peace. And for those of us who are left here on earth, let us remind ourselves with the words of the wise King Solomon, as written in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, from verse 1 to 13, 13. There is a time for everything, but in every season we find ourselves. Let us use it all. It is a gift from God. The day would come when we would cease to live. What would be said about us? What would people remember us for? Are you thinking of doing that thing tomorrow? I think you should do it now. The last thing we talked about was that she wanted to hold a webinar on childcare. And she kept on disturbing me to make some research for her. And I kept on postponing. Maybe if I had answered her on time, she would have done that webinar and I blame myself for that. She will be greatly missed. Surely. Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm just going to read a piece of passage from uh, John 11. 23 to 26. So it says, Jesus told her, your brother will rise from the dead. Martha replied, I know that he will rise from the dead in the resurrection in the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me and has to trust in and relies on me as savior will live even as he is dead. If I was going, to, if I was told I was going to be here doing this, I would probably tell everyone that it's a lie. But I find myself here for a reason. I still have questions, and my answers have not come to me yet. But it's what has happened. When I read this piece of passage. And that word was like my uncle, and it says, though he may die, or though she and Elan may die, she will surely live again. So I see death not as a permanent thing, but I just see Enela as someone who has transcended to another realm, from another portal to another portal. And she's somewhere. We do not know where she is. We, you know, we say she's in heaven. I know she's in heaven. And Tuesday last week, you know, this is, this, you know, we always have a normal way when we wake up in the morning. And Ella wakes up first, or I wake up first, my mom wakes up first, or she goes to the balcony and she eats her breakfast. But the first word I heard on Tuesday morning is, and you're like your sister, um, Shibumi, your sister is dead. And that was my mom telling me that. And truthfully, the first thing that came into my mind is, are you crazy? But 
the hell? Why are you telling me this? I ran to her room and I saw my sister. I begged God. I said I've never prayed for anything really important. But I just need one thing to be done. I said, give her back to me. Name your price. I would give anything. Give her back to me. If you are going to swap her, that she stays and I go. Swap her. Swap me. And I kept willing. I kept willing. I kept willing. I spoke to my sister. I said, your life, you can hear me. I just need you to flinch. That's all I need. I need. I needed that evidence of hope that as a Christian and as a believer, I would test my faith and just tell her that, you know what, it's not time. And I blamed my father for some few minutes and I said, why would you take her in? You should send her back. It's not her time. It's never meant to be her time. Myself and Ella would play, you know, I would tease her boyfriend. I say, I would tell her on your introduction, I'm so good to beat that boy. Whoever is going to marry you, whoever is going to marry She would reply that on your wedding day, your wife will not eat. I would sell her rice. And I said, that's your business. And we'll play and we'll play and we'll play. And all these things just came rushing to me. And it was devastating. The moment that I saw her dead, I knew that it's just one breath. We are just one breath away to wherever everyone is in life. And the last discussion I had with her was the webinar, like my friend said. And in my mind, I was like, Enola, there's time for this. Let me, let me, okay, let me just figure out myself and we'll get back to it. And the night before we played, she made plantains, she, she made food. Everything about her changed. My sister, um, my sister's children, titles changed from niece to nephew to my son and daughter. So everything I will be hearing is, I want to make food for my children. And I'm like, who are you talking about? And she was referring to Natasha and Daniel. And it's painful I'm not going to be it's painful my children will not know they had an auntie. It's painful that I'll never see an Allah carry a baby bump. It's painful that I cannot walk her down the aisle. It's, uh, it's painful I'm here. But I thank God. I thank God. And I look at it as this is just one thing that God is using to build me as a person, as a, as a Christian, as a believer. I didn't expect to be here. This was not in my five-year goal. I'm going to live with this car for life, you know. My culture, the Yoruba culture, says that it is a, it's a taboo for a parent to see a child die. When my father died, I became a parent to her. And I have to bury my own daughter. I don't know if she can hear me, but uh, I love it, Elijah Allah. Now and always. I lost faith before. I lost my trust in God. But I trust Him. If this is what is going to use to glorify Himself as God, so be it. I give it a last holy way a billion times. Let Him have it. This morning I was asking myself, what am I going to say? I said, I'm not going to see anything much or rather I'll pray for everyone 
that we're not going to experience such a thing. I don't pray for it for my enemy. I don't pray for it for my friends. I don't pray for it for anybody. But it's my prayer that God keeps us all. I told my one of my friends, two of my friends that came to see me on the day that the Nila passed, and I said, guys, marry that girl, propose, start that project, tell that person you love them. I'm a photographer, and the Nila would always ask me for portraits. And I said, Nila, wait, I will take your picture. I will take your picture. And in fact, I will take our family portraits. Don't worry, and she will just keep saying, I'm going to be dirty, let's take this picture off. And I had the mood board ready. And truthfully, I regret that I didn't do enough. But I know she is with God. She's with my Father in heaven. And that was a sweet girl. The rest of the girls that I know. If Anela was going to do anything little, she was going to tell me. So people say she's my guardian angel. I will believe that. But whatever has to happen will happen. I think uh, my family, I think my cousins. I think the two most important people after my mom and my siblings were me and Tokumbo because when my mom and Aunt Tope as well, when my mom was not there, they were like there. So they knew everything about me from the day I was born to this person standing here today. And I thank them for a job well done. They trained us well. You know, sometimes I laugh about it though, sometimes they were goodies, but yeah, it's what big sisters would do. But it was done in love. And I appreciate what they've done. It's my prayer that everyone here, you're gonna live up, you mean you're gonna live your days well. I don't pray for anyone to die suddenly. But I pray for everyone to live well. And Ella had 28 years on earth, 29 years on earth, and she lived well to the best of her capability and she had filled the volume of her book, which is the most important thing. So it's my prayer that God just keeps you and God blesses our memory. And I pray that everything that we do will be done to glorify God here on earth. And when we see him on that day, we will get that handshake and that crown Any love? This is me, your brother, and I will cherish your memory for life. I'm speechless. I'm trying to, you know, give that big brother speech like you always wanted to, but this is all I can give. But everything I want to give to you is in my heart, and I promised myself that if my first child is a girl, I'm going to keep that in my life. I'm going to call her in your heart. That's all I can say. Thank you very much, everyone. God bless. After all that has been said, and after all that has been done, to keep the memory of our beloved sister, we know she lives on in our hearts forever. And in that same attitude, we give glory to the Almighty God. As we bring this tribute to an end, may I indulge us to please rise on our feet. As we sing this song, and as I invite one of your last friends, Abisola, to give us the closing prayer. It is well, it is well with my soul, with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. Our Lord and
Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name, we worship and adore you. We thank you because even if our hearts are heavy, we can't do anything but to give you thanks. We thank you because you are God and you are God all by yourself. You know everything from the beginning to the end. Time is nothing, it's something that you created. You are an amazing God. From the beginning, from age to age, you remain the same. So irrespective of how we feel right now, irrespective of how sad we are that Eniola is no longer with us, we trust that you are good because you are a good father. And if the earthly fathers who are bad know how to give good gifts, how much more you? So we rest, we rest assured that you are a good father. We rest assured that we know that the Jayola family, you are with them. We rest assured that we know that you are the one that is the balm of Gilead. So you will comfort them in the way that only you can in this season. We thank you for everyone that has come here to, you know, talk about Eniola and just commemorate at this time. We ask that as everyone goes, that you will be with us. We cover each and every one with the blood of Jesus. We pray for our mom and our family at this time. That is Lord, we ask that you will stand for them. That the gap that only you can fill, you will fill in their lives. We ask that you will help each and every one of us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. You will help us to live our lives and spend it for you and you alone. And that at the end of the day, at the end of it all, when we come before you, we will have good things to present to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you very much, Gisela. And to our friends and family who joined us online, I say thank you very much for joining us. Officially, this tribute has come to an end. Okay, while we are getting our bags and stuff to leave, I'd love to invite once again uh, David to lead us in worship of praise as he deems fit. All right, so um, we've heard all the good things about Eniola. She's gone to rest. Um, we are the ones still here. We are the ones still battling with different things on this earth. She's already rested. So let's just celebrate a life well spent. Hey, 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 my God is good, oh. Everything I double double Everything I double double Hey, my God, he good Yahweh, 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 Everything I double double low. Everything I double double low. Hey, my God is good. Hallelujah. Oh, 
Oluwa etobi etobi o etobi go seni talefi shaka Shall I render to you, O oh Lord? I will praise your name and shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you, O oh Lord? What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, O oh Lord? I will praise your name and shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you, O oh Lord? What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, my God? I will praise your name and shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you, O oh Lord? What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, my God? I will praise your name and shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you, O oh Lord?